Richard Branson's latest space venture draws an awkward parallel. Satellite launching outfit Virgin Orbit is going public via a merger with a blank check acquisition vehicle at a valuation of $3.2 billion. Getting to such a price tag involves lots of gazing into rose-tinted crystal balls and a bit of reality checking against competitors. Two of the most basic questions are what its sales will look like and how profitable it will be. For a company with just three successful satellite launch flights under its belt, neither question is easy. Revenue this year is likely to be about $15 million, yet Virgin Orbit reckons that will soar to $1.5 billion by 2025. Meanwhile, its financial losses will transform into a sky-high 32% EBITDA profit margin. One way to make these assumptions look reasonable is by comparing them to a company with even loftier ambitions. Virgin Orbit's investor material helpfully points to another nascent space venture with even faster growth rates and a stratospheric 47% EBITDA margin. Awkwardly for Branson, said venture is the bearded Brit's own Virgin Galactic, which recently took him on a joyride to the edge of space. In his attempts to launch one company into the financial stratosphere, Branson may unwittingly have helped to bring another one back down to earth.